Hey everyone, Brandon Bryan here. The tractor has arrived. It's a 2001 Craftsman LTX 1000. It's actually in fairly decent condition for its age. It's a few blemishes on the body. Right here, it's a bit of a peel. It's actually an all steel hood. I initially thought it was a uh, plastic grill, but it's an all steel with the bumper. It has either a 10 or a 12 gauge 42 inch deck in really good condition. The deck does function. It does need that uh, little keeper put back on. It's equipped with a 20 horse Briggs V-Twin, the quietest engine I do have at this point in time. This is also the newest tractor I currently own. The It's not the newest one I've ever had. That was my... Uh, my uh, Toro. Uh, yeah, it was a Toro. So anyways, this is going to be the new four-wheel drive. It's got a hydro right now, so tomorrow I don't have to work. I'm going to be converting this over to a gear drive. It should only take about two hours to do. Uh, pull everything off of this. Uh, probably take about an hour or so because it does have the one-piece rear pan. They are sometimes a little bit difficult to get off. And uh, pull that one over there apart. Pull the shifter out. Pull everything off the back. Maybe get Emily taken apart, that one or this one, and um, we get it done half the time. It's either got second or third gen steering. It's got the different steering than the truck and the racer. So I believe that's second gen or third gen. I'm not 100% sure on that. It does not have the first gen. I, knew, I know that offhand. Uh, I got my keys in it, but it did come with a key. It's a little bit better design key. I don't like the uh, pointy keys. Don't necessarily uh, like these keys very much. I like these other ones a lot better. So anyways, now I got two keys for it, which is pretty good. I can keep one key on my main keychain, one on my secondary. I'll have to swap out the ignition switch on the truck if I decide to sell it or use it for parts. I don't really know what's going on with that yet. So um, here it is. So I figure we might as well do a quick startup of this as well. Um, the guy initially told me it's a type of engine that likes having the choke turned on, but ever since he left, I haven't had to use the choke once, so it might be it was just him, and it may just like me, I do not know. So there's no choke, it's been about two and a half hours since he left, maybe longer, maybe less, and uh, let's see if it fires up. <laughs> It's actually the best sounding engine and the quietest engine I currently have as well. Other than the racer, it's reasonably quiet as well, but it has the uh, open exhaust. Emily thinks it's not, but I think it is. But um, out of the truck, it this one's pretty quiet. Um, it's a really nice sounding Briggs Intec. I'm happy about that. It also has the nicer steering wheel. It's got the soft steering wheel on it, which is really nice with the big center cover. I'm thinking I wonder if I could put a horn in here. Put a little horn button right here or somehow underneath this and make it that when you press down on it, but it is soft in the center. So if you were able to get the horn button just right, you could push down on the center and beep the horn, which would be kind of cool. It's got the cable driven deck. So this cable here, most likely, I'll run that up to the front end and that will operate the front brakes. So basically you put it all the way up and you'll have an emergency brake sort of thing. So we'll see. I, I haven't decided yet. Or I could probably sell that and uh, recoup some of my money. Speaking about recouping money, the deck will be sold. The deck is in really good shape. All it needs is this keeper put back on. This is a new one. Or it came off a different deck. He said, I don't really know what the story is on that keeper. But it, the deck does need the keeper. But the deck currently does function. So I will probably drop the deck tomorrow. Put that back on. I'll clean the deck. Uh, when he took pictures of this, deck was really clean. So, and he has he has used it since the ad was put up. So it's a little bit dirty right now. It does need to be washed. But I was checking online for what I paid for this. They're actually going for same price, if not more. There was a lot newer tractor in my area for sale as well. Um, I could have got it, but I kind of lucked out on it. But 
it was like a, it was a 12. It was either a 10 or a 12. It seemed too good to be true, the deal. So I'm kind of happy I didn't get that one. But it was less than this one. That's the main reason why I don't think it was a genuine tractor. It was genuine, meaning it was real. But I think it had problems. It had to have for the amount, for the amount they wanted for it. Also, unlike the other one, this has a, a bolt-in front end. Four bolts per side, so the same as the racer. So just basically unbolt the four bolts. The front end will drop right out. Unbolt the bumper. That will drop right out. Uh, i got to take the exhaust off the engine or at least the muffler. And I can slide in my new front end and uh, go from there. So the engine will get straight piped, but I'm going to try and keep it quiet. It does, it does sound really nice. I'm also going to put the steel brace bar between the battery box from both left to right side, right in there. It also has the selectable drop on the deck, the six adjustments. So that will actually work for my transmission, but I need eight notches. So I gotta check out Pumper Kicker's video and see how he did it. I know he had this similar setup here. So I gotta see if he only had it go up to four. So for uh, one through four, then he had a neutral and reverse. Or did he just use the front transmission through one through five and neutral and no reverse? So I gotta check out that. It's got the newer wiring harness as well. Uh, the battery does need to be charged. It's a never start Walmart brand battery. The seat's in decent shape. I'm gonna be putting my Kubota seat on here. It's got the one tear right there where they all where all these tractors rip. The rear pan it's got a bit of rust right here, but it's solid. And there's a small dent on the other side of the wheel well. That's it. Um, other than that, it's perfect. So here it is, the newest addition to the fleet, 2001 Crossman LTX 1000. And yes, the headlights do work. Everything works on this tractor. Uh, we drove it in. So here we go. It's going to be the new truck. Stay tuned. For my next video, I'm going to discuss how I'm going to be doing the conversion. There's the dent right there. Uh, the front end conversion is pretty simple, but the rear end I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently, and you'll have to stay tuned for that. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep redneck like always, and uh, please prime comment.